In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a PDF from your Bubble app with a footer. You can see that we've just generated the PDF, two pages in this particular one. You'll see if we go down to the bottom here, we have Cranford Tech 2023, this gray line, and a page counter. And if we go on to the second page, you'll see we have the page counter goes up to one to two, and we retain that Cranford Tech 2023. Throughout this tutorial, we're going to be using the PDF Creator plugin. This is a paid plugin developed by myself, and you can find it by searching for PDF Creator in the plugin section of your Bubble app. Once you have that installed, you can drop the PDF Creator element onto the page. It's not going to actually show up in the version of your app that users will see. It's really here just to allow certain actions to happen. I'm going to delete this one because I already have one dropped on the page. And if we do want to generate a PDF of an element, then we need to use a certain workflow. We're going to use this group invoice here as an example. You can see here it's kind of a template of an invoice you may wish to create a PDF of. And if we look at the workflow behind it, you'll see that it's all based on this generate PDF creator A action. I'm going to delete this and recreate it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to element actions and go to generate a PDF creator. And then this is the element that we just dropped on the page. So I know we deleted the one I dropped on, but I have two other ones. One of them is PDF Creator A. And the ID attribute is probably the most important field within here. This is the element that we want to PDF. And if you read the instructions here, you'll see that we're going to need to enable under our settings tab and under general, we're going to need to enable this option here to expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. Once you tick this checkbox over here, you'll see that when you click on an element, like our group invoice, and if you scroll to the bottom of the appearance section, you'll have this option here to type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in invoice for this. Then if I go back to my workflow, I'm going to specify that the ID attribute here is going to be invoice. I'm going to call this my file demo auto download a set ds that means when we create the pdf it's automatically going to be sent to our browser here scale the higher the value the better quality of the pdf that will be output but it will take longer to run and it'll be a bigger file as well so i also suggest starting off with two and then adjusting if you need to for orientation we can do either portrait or landscape and then we can also play around with the margins i'm not going to do that right now but we can change them in a second if we like so let's go and preview that You'll see here on this demo page that I have a bunch of different use cases on how to use this PDF creator. But let's just use the workflow that we just created. So we're going to click this generate PDF of invoice. And you can see there's going to my download section. And we're getting this really nicely formatted PDF coming up. You'll also notice that I have this link coming up where I've saved the PDF down to a link. And I can actually access it via the URL. The way you achieve this is you use this when PDF creator a recorded event. So that means that whenever a PDF is created, we can do this. What I've done is I'm showing a pop-up element. And then I'm adding PDF creator A's URL to that link section there. So quite straightforward. Again, you can see all these workflows because this editor is open to everyone. So if you do want to delve into anything on this demo page, you can do so. Now let's go back to our workflow and add a footer to our invoice PDF. So we'll get out of that, generate PDF of invoice. And you can see here we have all our original settings. But if you go into the footer section here, you'll see we have these two options, left footer content and right footer content. And if we want something to come in on the left hand side of the footer, we can type that in there. So I'm going to type in Cranford Tech 2023. I'm going to leave the right footer blank for just a second. And then you can also add a line to the bottom of your page as if it's a, a line above the footer. The default is this gray color, which I think works quite well. But if you do want to show that line, you have to tick this box here. So let's refresh our preview page and we'll generate that PDF again. So let's click on that. If we click on our PDF. We're still seeing the PDF of the invoice. But now down at the bottom, we're getting this gray line. We're also getting Crown Protect 2023. If I wanted this to be on the right hand side of the footer and maybe I wanted no line, I can do that as well. I would simply change this to the right, get rid of the line, and let's say I wanted a darker color, so I went for this kind of navy color instead. We can also do that. 
and you can see then we have a kind of slightly more obvious font color and the line is gone and then one other thing you can do which you may want to do if you want to do multiple pages let's say you want a page counter where you have one at the bottom of the first page two at the bottom of the second etc what you can do is you can just type in page counter and the plugin will understand that you want to put in page numbers because of that so let's refresh and generate that one more time and you can see here now we've number one and let's say we want to add a second page to this pdf what we could do is we could also in addition to the group invoice that we have here if you scroll further down you'll see we have another similar ish group and we're going to call this group invoice 2 is the name of the group and if we look at what we've called it as an id attribute it's also invoice 2. we can add multiple elements together and then create one pdf and the way you do that is you just add in after the first id attribute a comma then paste in this second id attribute after a space and if we refresh our bubble editor and click on generate pdf of invoice again see here the most recent one we now have one over here and we have two over here and uh, let's just finish this off by putting in maybe Cranford Tech on the left hand side changing the font color to be more of a gray color moving it a bit up moving it up a bit higher and then also increasing the font size slightly so let's refresh that generate our PDF one more time and you can see now our font is bigger it's up a bit higher and you can really customize this to whatever you want so hope it's been useful like i said i'm going to put a link to this demo page in the description you'll be able to see all the workflows behind it but if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section